The story of Prophet Hud, peace be upon him. Arrogant people went from strength to nothing. Prophet Hud, Eber in English, peace be upon him, was sent to an ancient tribe called Ad, who was believed to have been in the curved sand hills of Oman and Yemen. They worshipped idols as gods, which they believed would give them happiness and money, and protect them from evil, harm, and all disasters. The people of Prophet Hud were very tall, strong, and well built. They were arrogant people who would show off, bully, and oppress people with their large size. According to the Holy Quran, they would say, Who is greater than us in strength? Quran 41 15. They were known to build tall towers. Their area became known as the land of thousand pillars, since God blessed them with fertile soil and abundant agriculture, many children, an ample supply of livestock, and easy access to water resources. They mistakenly understood the purpose of life was to gather wealth, status in life, and live in luxury. Prophet Hud, peace be upon him, would command them to fear Allah and obey him. According to the Holy Quran, Prophet Hud, peace be upon him, would say to his people, O oh my people, worship Allah you have no God besides him. You are not but inventors of falsehood. Quran 11.50 Prophet Hud advised them to ask God for forgiveness for their arrogance and carelessness and told them that if they seek forgiveness, God will increase them in power, strength, and wealth. According to the Quran, Prophet Hud would say, And O my people, ask for forgiveness from your Lord and repent to him he will send rain from the sky upon you in showers, and increase you in strength, and add to you in strength. And do not turn away, being criminals. Quran 11.52 However, the people of Hud proudly saw themselves as the most powerful nation in existence. They rejected their prophet's message, believing that after death their bodies would decay to dust and be swept away by the winds. With their hearts and minds filled with the accumulation of this world, they would say to their prophet, Why did God choose you when you are no different from the rest of us? You eat and drink like the rest of us. Prophet Hood's people proudly stated, Have you come to turn us away from our gods? Then bring to us the disaster which you threaten us if we don't listen. Prophet Hood, peace be upon him, turned to God, the Almighty, and renounced his people. Soon after, the people of Hood suffered through a three-year famine and a drought which spread throughout the once green, fertile, and abundant land. The people looked into the sky, hoping to see signs of rain. One fateful day, the weather changed. The burning heat changed to furious, violent winds which God, the Almighty, imposed on them for seven nights and eight days. The winds ripped apart their homes, possessions, clothing, and even the skin on their bodies. The sands on the desert swallowed and buried their crops. Only Prophet Hood and a small group of believers were saved and believed to have migrated to southern Yemen.